Hi, hello everyone. This is Sai. Today is a Sunday and it will make everyone as a fun day by doing their curricular activities. But our KRL team also have a fun day by doing their robotics works. Let's see how our KRL team is making this Sunday as a fun day. Let's, we can see that. Hello Sandeep, what is going right now? Uh, I'm currently working on the project Megatron. This build right here is a unmanned ground, autonomous unmanned ground vehicle. And my my I'm responsible uh, for the complete uh, hardware build right from the designing and circuit and uh, executing it physically. Uh, so far we have done with the designing and uh, as you can see we have done with the building chassis and assembling the outer body. Uh, so currently I'm uh, working on the grinding part to make the build perfect and uh, uh, making sure that there is there are no sharp sharp edges uh, throughout the body. And how many days it will take to complete this Java? Uh, it might take approximately uh, two to three weeks. Uh, so uh, the hardware had to come. So we, we are currently work, working. Uh, we are currently uh, making sure that the hardware we have selected is compatible and uh, to uh, to make the perfect circuits. Okay, Sandeep, you can continue your work. Hello, Joshua. What's your role in this project? So, my role is to build the autonomous navigation for this robot. Once we can see the design at here, explain the what is the design in which you are designing this. For the designing purpose, we use the Fusion 360, which is a Fusion 360 software. You can see the entire design on the top of the robot. We keep LiDAR for the mapping and autonomous navigation. And the simulation purpose, we use the gazebo. It's a raw simulator. Yeah. It's good. From how many days you are working in this? From the past two weeks, I was working on this simulation and the designing part. Right. Is this rover is an autonomous or remote control? Yeah. It is both. For the manual control, we use this RC transmitter for the controlling of the robot. RC? Transmitter. Yeah, right. ah. For autonomous purpose, we use the ROS navigation stack. We use AMCL for the autonomous navigation. And uh, our main feature was autonomous navigation. Wherever you, the, uh, your, wherever you give the destination, it will go autonomously without any remote control or anything. How many days it will take to complete? Approximately it will take uh, two more weeks to complete the project. Only a software part or hardware part? Yes, uh, only software work it will take the two weeks to complete and for the hardware purpose we need to spend one more, one or two more weeks to for build the entire rover. Approximately almost one month. It will take approximately one month. Uh, we need to test the algorithms, machine learning and deep learning. Additionally, we are adding the AI to this rover. For uh, on the top of the rover, we integrate the camera. By using the camera, we use machine. We use uh, we can perform machine learning, deep learning algorithms for this rover. And it's a live. It's a we can see we can control the rover through the mobile app. We are further planning for the Android application for this rover. Anyone can do the, Anyone can control the rover through the mobile app. And we can see the live feed in the mobile of the camera. Oh, it's great. Okay, Joshua, let's continue our work. We can see the another project. Hello, Mani. On which project you are working on? Uh, yeah, our team uh, from past two weeks, uh, we are working on two main projects. And uh, one is rover and one is um, hexagopter. And my work is to uh, build hexagopter. So presently, I have completed assembling part, and uh, we, I have integrated uh, Pizza Hut flight control in it. And uh, uh, I have completed uh, axial calibration and uh, compass calibration, and remaining part is and uh, ESC calibration. So it is yet to be done. So uh, yeah. Okay. What are the features you have added in this? Yeah, I have integrated uh, a Pixar flight controller. Uh, there are three modes actually. One is RTL, one is Reuter, and one is altitude hold. So uh, RTL is that. Uh, uh, so when the signal is lost, 
so it will return to uh, return to where it is launched okay so and the another is altitude hold basically we can fix a uh, uh, range of altitude if we fix altitude as uh, 10 it will uh, lift up only 10 meters if we fix altitude as 20 it will uh, uh, flee up to 20 meters only so and there is loiter mode uh, loiter mode actually what is uh, when the winds uh, wind is uh, more in uh, atmosphere uh, drone is uh, unstable no so for that it will uh, to control stability we use loiter mode is this is an autonomous or <coughs> remote control yeah. so basically i have made only manual control Furtherly, uh, I want to integrate this uh, Raspberry Pi with uh, Pixar Flight Controller by using uh, machine learning algorithms. We will uh, uh, upcoming we will uh, make it autonomous drone. Okay. It's good. Uh, can you explain the applications of this project? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, this uh, this is uh, just a prototype. Uh, we can use this as a agricultural drone and uh, a grocery delivery drone and medicines delivery drone and surveillance okay money you can continue your work here are the our team they are working on their own projects and they have a plan of particular project there are lot many things to be complete stay tuned for further updates